Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Aaron's Got Game. Today we've got a horror demo. This one's called Jennifer's Fragments. So uh, let's roll the intro and get into this. Do you remember, Jennifer? You used to have a happy life here. Okay. You used to be happy. Oh my god. I can open the door. Oh, hey, yo. What the hell was that? What happened to you? Why are you here? I have no idea why I'm here. Okay, that's locked. Oh my god, that fire is bright. You die. We'll see about that. Who is she talking to? Oh man, it's making me go upstairs already when that thing was on the stairs. Yep, we're going up, guys. There. <whistles> Fuck the hell. What the hell was that? Now, what the hell is this place? Oh, I'm a step on. Everything's locked. Um. Everything is locked. I've uh, no clue where we go. Must be something downstairs. It is immensely dark. We're not of a okay, that's locked. That is so bright. A mad painting. That's locked. Lovely painting. Oh. We've got a hat, some shoes. There's a door here. That's locked as well. Alright. Uh, you're giving me no, um... Oh, look this spread. You're giving me no indication of where I need to go. to be upstairs because obviously we've had the person on the stairs then we've had the scream so something up here we must have to do uh, I have no sprint button oh oh that's the window ah oh, there's a door there's nothing out there Nothing in there. Do I jump out the window? Do we have... Any indication at all would be fantastic. It's one of them games where I'm just going to have to check every cupboard. Oh, 
Oh. Kitchen K. Where's the kitchen at? Remember. Yeah. You used to bake cookies with your mother. This kitchen looks oddly familiar. Has this kitchen been in another game? Burned cookies. <laughs> you really like to burn things, right? I don't remember anything. Go away. The you have hell? to face it, my sweet Jennifer. You have to. I'm guessing we've got a voice in our head of some sort. Because who the hell is she talking to? Any keys? Just bought a key. Of some sort. Key. Bathroom key. Is that located upstairs or is that downstairs? Oh, there's some swords up there. Oh, it's downstairs. We drowned the toy duck in the bathtub. No, shut the fuck up. What about the cat, huh? Jesus. Why you had to hold it underwater with your hands for so long. Shut up! You're bad news, Jennifer. You've always been a naughty girl. Jesus, a disturbed girl. Pantry key. I feel so vulnerable here. I'm sure someone is watching me. I can hear but can't see her. She says, I drowned the cat. I don't believe it. When I got into the tub, the kitty was there. I was unconscious. I must have been unconscious at least then. I don't remember what I was doing when this poor, lovely kitty died. Oh my god. One letter's found. Safe password. I feel so vulnerable here. I'm sure someone is watching. Okay. Uh, we picked up the pantry key, didn't we? But the pantry. Oh, I'm saying that's outside. I'm guessing this is the pantry. <laughs> Ooh. Stay here. Oh, the hell. Okay. Child's bedroom. That's a big no no. Anything to do with children and horror games is just horrendous. Uh, something's gonna have a go here, isn't it? Something's gonna jump out. Come on. Do you remember the lovely tales I used to tell you on sleepless childhood nights? Are you talking about your disgusting tales of smell of burning flesh, broken bones, and shattered bodies? <laughs> Do you remember where you hid when we first met? You were terrified of me. Ah, such fun times. I have never been afraid of you. There's my good girl. Oh my god, this is getting creepy, this. She's having an imaginary friend or... sort of spirit. But either way, it's not great. Oh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a key of some sort. Aha! The main bedroom. Now we're getting somewhere. Do you want to sleep between mom and dad? You can't still be afraid of me. You are not funny! Did you really think? Sleeping with your parents would shut me up when I'm closer to you than your brain cells. I'll rip you out of the depths of my mind and throw you into a bottomless pit. Yeah. You got it, sister. Note here. Fahrenheit woke me up and lie between mom and dad. That 
made me feel safe. It wasn't enough to silence her. But when I was with them, I used to think no one could hurt me. But these safe days are gone. My father is no longer one of us. I don't trust him anymore. I'd rather commiserate with Fahrenheit than sleep next to him. I have to punish my father in this world. I can't do it alone. Fahrenheit told me she'd help me if I can give her a body. I will think about it. Is Fahrenheit the person we are talking to? I'm not sure. Either way, we're going into the cellar. This Fahrenheit seems like a, um, a ghost or a demon of some sort. Obviously, if it needs a body, use the possession. See, I'm talking like I know about ghosts. <laughs> Like bad things happened here. Do yeah. I feel it too? Ooh, the bed. What is that? What the hell is that? Shackles. Oh, for God's sake! Got blood on the wall. What's this? For ye were as a sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. 1 Peter 225. Is that safe code? 1225? Too sure. Could be. There's a knife there. Whoa. It's squeaking. Oh, for God's sake. Nope. Nope. Found third password. Oh, 96. Change the target. Ah, okay. Maybe that's... No. I'm right, going some sort of code. They're gonna make me look for the safe password L96. It's gonna make me look for a code now, isn't it? I feel so vulnerable here. When Fahrenheit woke me up, I'd lie between mom and dad. That Right. I'm gonna have to go back upstairs. Or a code. Just anything. Aha. I spent a happy childhood in this house except for that day. They have to take me away from here. Maybe I won't be able to come back home. I can't describe the heavy feeling inside me. My soul is torn into pieces from pain. Fahrenheit, it's all your fault. I will tear you out of the depths of my mind. Maybe today. Maybe when I grow up and become a strong woman. One day. For sure. So Fahrenheit is this person we're talking to then. And she's real pissed. There's nothing on there. That clock is... Nearly you know, ten past...
It's one of them games we have to find the code. Aha! Found the first password. Right, so we're looking for paintings or bathroom. Anything in here? I've read that note. Hello? Nothing I can see in here. Alright, we're going upstairs. Nope, no paint in there. Here. Second password found. Right, that's all them found, isn't it? There's notes, I believe. I mean, we can go down into the cellar. We've read that one. See that. Oh, I'm gonna green colour. I'm stuck. Right, let's go down to the basement. So I think we've um some sort of code. Could be anything like what? <laughs> Nothing out here, we'll leave the door open. Right, I have the code. Something to do with this clock. Oh! I don't know what I did, but it's done something. Hello? Ah! Oof. Hello. Maybe bad people have to live with bad memories. I am not a bad person. Left 86, right 99, left 96. So we're going 86, 99, 96. All 
Alright. Eighty six. We're going right. Ninety nine. And left ninety six. All right, we're in. Picked up one fragment. Oh, Dad. What did that woman have that Mom didn't? Why did you cheat on her? On us? You are a sinner. Fahrenheit tells me to heat the house so you can go to the afterlife in a pure state. What shall I do now? Oh, my sinful daddy. Okay, that was it. She ran sweet. Um, yeah, it was okay. Yeah, obviously she had an alter ego or like a voice in her head that was taught her to do things. But yeah, it was okay. A little demo. It were the best, but it was okay. Thanks very much, guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. There's many more horror videos on there. That lightning's very loud. Not lightning, thundering. Uh, yeah, so I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.